Well, longtime music producer Chico Twala says he can't be excluded from the making of a movie about the life of late pop icon Brenda Fassi. The producer, who worked with Fassi for years, has come out strongly against the production of the biopic by a United Kingdom-based film house that is working with Brenda's son, Bongani. For more on the story, we are now joined in studio by Mr. Chico Twala. A very good morning to you. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Firstly, what are your main reasons for you being against the production of the film? Well, uh, I was approached by Bongani uh, some five years back. Uh, and at that time, we were not talking me and Bongan because of the court case he had against me, EMI, Sambro, and uh, Universal regarding his mom's royalties. So they took the, he took the matter to court. So obviously, I was not uh, allowed to talk to him at the time. But after the court case, which didn't go in his favor, uh, which is still in arbitration, he called me to apologize. At that time, we never even spoke about the, the, the rights or anything. He had problems, uh, financial problems and all that, complaining about the executor that the child is money, because there was about 8 million rent in the account at the time when I left. When we actually, we raised about 8 million after Brenda's death, and there was about eight, that 8 million was gone. So he came to me to complain that he wants to remove the executor and appoint a new executor, of which I helped him, to the point where a new executor was appointed, Mr. Togozanim Tengu. Mm -hmm. And Bongani suggested that, you know, Maybe we can do a movie about his mother and all that, you know. So I then approached Zinger Production. Zinger Production, and I said, okay, let's do it. Uh, the executor gave us the rights, Bongani gave us the rights. Okay. Then from there, we, we hired the service of Professor Zeke Simda to do a research for script, for, to write the script. For almost two years, he's been working on that. And then uh, uh, the, a gentleman called, he worked with Malcolm X. We, we actually hired top people mm -hmm. to work on the, on, the, on, on the research and all that. Last year, Bongani called me. I think it was in February. He was having some problems. Uh, I don't know where, you know. And then I assisted, him. I assisted him with whatever. I think he was chucked out of the house. I raised about 230,000 rand, and I gave it to him. Uh, the boy is a problem and he needs help. I don't want South Africans to start attacking me for not. I have proved I have everything what I'm doing, I've done for him. So we quarreled. After I said, Bongani, you are too extravagant. You need to find, you need help. You cannot chow money like that. He's, he's always not happy when you're advising, you know. He got upset. Now in December, I got a letter from his uh, uh, manager, Vaughan, that they are terminating the agreement for what's his name. He said, look, we have an agreement. If you terminate, then let the courts decide who has the right. Now they announce in January. Look, I owe, okay, sorry. You so essentially, to... who has the production rights to uh, Brenda Fassi, anything to do with her estate or her music, or in terms of doing a film? Who has those rights? We, Zinge and Leah Hona. Leahona is my company. Okay. Zinger is a, it's a company in Renberg. We have the rights. We were given the rights by Bongani Fasi and the estate. Okay. We have the rights. So essentially now is what is what's happening. Is this now due to the personal problems that you It's and personal Bongani problems to be honest with you. It's not about that. It's definitely personal problems. I mean, I don't think I can be excluded on Brenda's life. I wrote about 75% of Brenda's hits. Uh, my songs are the one that broke Brenda internationally, Vulin Lela. I mean, how are you going to make Brenda's movie without the likes of me, the likes of Cindy, the, 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 the Brenda's girlfriend? So many people are not contacted. No research is made on this movie. They just hire a company that has no experience. Is that now the UK-based company? The UK-based company. I mean, those guys, I mean, this movie is not going to be what South Africans expect. Are you going to, in any ways, try intervene and try be a part of of the movie and the making of the movie. What is your liaison being with that company? I, ex I actually spoke to Bongani and Vaughn. In fact, Vaughn. Yeah. That Vaughn, let's work together. I don't have a... But that company, I have a problem with. You why do you have a, a because problem Because they don't have the company? experience. Brenda's legacy, definitely, with that company. We need a, a reputable company, a company that has been doing movies. They've been in the industry for two years. Preferably a South African company? No, even if it's international or maybe a joint venture. 
You know, but we cannot go and shoot Brenda's uh, film with two million, three million budget. I would have shot it, to be honest with you. I would have shot it. They just gave Vaughan a few, a little bit of money with Vaughan. I know that. And then now, they're not going to spend more than three million, four million to shoot that film, trust me. So now, in terms of actually producing the movie, how is this going to happen? You did mention that you had an agreement uh, to do this movie with Bongani, yes. and you received a letter from, I suppose, him and his lawyers stating that uh, they want to bring that uh, agreement to an end. How are you going to take this further? Well, I said to them, let's work together and try to find uh, a solution on the matter. Uh, it's not about money. Some people say it's about greed. I child. Some people even insult me that I child Brenda's money. Look, I don't care about those people who said I, I don't have time for, for people who, who actually just uh, criticize me with no proof, you know. I wanted to work with Bongan to make sure that we come with a film that will make South Africa proud. We know the story. There's a lot of people who've worked with Brenda, that lived with Brenda. They are not consulted. Mm -hmm. Bongani cannot tell Brenda's story. Bongani was too young. He was too young from 1982. Mm -hmm. Bongani was not even born when his mother started the, the, the car. There are people that worked with Brenda. People like us, Blondie Market, there's so many people. I mean, those people need to be consulted. You, you need to do research. You don't just wake up in the morning and say, give somebody the rights, go and shoot the film. Mm. Especially my music, I will never allow me. People can criticize me. I will never allow my music to actually so be used So let's on now bring that in. If the movie does go ahead, then none of the music that you've produced, you're not allowing it to be included in the film. Correct. Right. But it seems as also there's a common factor here between yourself and Bogani, regardless of your issues, and that you both loved Brenda and that um, you'd want her to be remembered in the way that... Not only, but I also love Bongani. You know, to be honest with you, Bongani all the time when he's got problems, he comes to me. Even if he, took, he takes me to court, I get angry, you know? But look... You love I, him like a son. Le, le, listen, if I can show you the, the WhatsApp messages that he sends me when he's in trouble and I, I help him, you'll be shocked. What, is, what the public are hearing, it's not the truth. What is the truth? The truth is that the boy needs help. He needs help. Whatever he's, he, he says, other things, he needs help. He's not, the people that are assisting him now with what's him, they're taking advantage of him. You obviously care about him. Is there any sort of way that the two of you can come to an understanding, uh, you know, resolve your issues and work together in creating something memorable, not only for uh, South Africans, but for the world to see the life of Brenda Fassi? That is my wish. That's why in the, in the, in the what's his name, in the, in the agreement that we have, Bongani owns 28%. 10% Fassi Records, 18% the estate. And Zinge and myself, who were funding it, we, and we said to him, don't contribute any money. We make sure that we bring the money. So we were working collectively. It's just that someone came and gave Bongani what they gave him and then accepted it. And then he made an announcement on his own. Now, Chico, in, in working with Brenda and the beautiful music that has come from this woman, what would you like to see um, being taken out if this movie eventually does go ahead? Uh, I would like the movie to be successful, number one. I would like the movie to tell the story as it is. There's a lot of things that, I mean, we know about Brenda Fassi. And also, this is the last time that Bongani, this Bongani's got two children, uh, that... Uh, he can have something because, you know, he's no longer earning royalties of his mother like it used to be before. This movie should be something that Bongani must benefit from. I don't even care. I, I can even give, even all, to prove that I, it's not about money. I can give if all my share to Bongani's, Brenda's grandchildren, to prove that it's not about money. People think it's about money. I don't care about money. I've got businesses. I make enough money from the day of Brenda, you know. So people always think there's a problem here. We need to help Wangani. I help Brenda. And I'm, I was helping. It's not about money or anything. People are just jumping the gun. There's nothing like that. I want to help Wangani. And if need be, uh, if nothing, if does not want to work with me, unfortunately, we'll have, just have to sort this matter in court. No, for the sake of 
many South Africans and fans that love Brenda, we really do hope that uh, you can come to some sort of agreement for the work of art and the legacy of Brenda Fassi. Thank you very much for joining us in studio. Of course, that was music producer Chico Twala with regards to the controversy around the biopic of Brenda Fassi that is set to take place from a United Kingdom-based film house. Of course, Chico Twala is saying that uh, he's not happy with the agreement and uh, they do not sort out their issues, then none of his music will be allowed to feature in that film.